All right, so in Unity, <clears throat> what I'm going to do for a little bit is work on iterating some ideas uh, and some basic assets, and then I can check in the max and clean them up. Um, just kind of building off the actual basic assets that I can get into uh, this project. Uh, first off, I'm going to start off some stairs. I want to build a multi tiered floor. Uh, in class, I built some terrain pieces that allow me to paint. These are just textures I built in Photoshop. I'm going to redo them, so I'll make videos for that and I'll uh, relink it when I update everything here. But right now, this is just kind of where it's sitting. Um, so, um, of course, I'm going to have much more height and change and everything. So, uh, what I want to do is get a basic house. And then I want to get a couple of uh, variations that allow me to uh, open up a few of them so players can walk up and around and kind of go see things. So first and foremost, I'm going to have a high cliffs just like I did in the last scene in the earlier videos. So if I'm going to do that, then what I need to do is uh, build up and not out. So it's not like in Texas, but more like in the East Coast or someplace like... Um, Asia where it is just a high population rate type concept in a small amount of land space. Alright, so with that being said, I have been working on this house. These are all just pieces that I have inside Unity that I've rebuilt of the meshes and the textures that I've been working on so far up to this point. Um, and right now, this very moment, what I'm doing is setting up my house so I can walk around in it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to have stairs because I want to have this kind of situation up on the top floor, but leave it to where people can walk around in a couple of the rooms, and, you know, just like a full on uh, game level. So uh, I'll put stairs right here, and that'll be the intro uh, entry. And this will also, I'll need to build a window wall here, and I'll use the base wall here, just cut a chunk of hole out, and then build basically a platform set up like I did with the arch here. Uh, we'll have a room here, we'll have like a kitchen or some kind of other room here, and then upstairs could be bedrooms and stuff like that. So it'll be smaller space. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, uh, for stairs, first thing I was doing right off uh, to get going, I just built, let's just build a box. All right, so I'm gonna scale this out. Uh, my character controller isn't very good doesn't have a whole lot of gravity to it uh, at this moment it'll never really jump um, so with that in mind um, as a real interesting um, way about going into a, a, a ramp I'll show you this has a collision already in it because it's a default object in uh, unity so the idea is the back door will be the garden or whatever, um, kitchen space, right? Um, main room and then upstairs. Oh, I need to set it up a little lower. Let's do that real quick. All right, so it's actually a pretty mellow angle, to be honest. Let's go ahead and make it dramatic because video games turn off the local put on the global yeah that'll work and I'm going to um, oh shit let's see control D and then set this up to where there's a landing pad for it essentially I'll make a whole new ground roof ceiling piece for the house Using the boxes and just a texture. Don't need to do a whole lot more else past that. Sweet. Let's call me on the ground. Sweet. All right. So this will be like how the stairs will be set up. Well, go in there. I can put a doorway there for like a storage thing. There's the stairs. Go up. Boop boop. And then we're up here. Bam. Easy peasy. So let's see. No gravity. Oh, it didn't do anything, it just came right off. Interesting. It's doing not what I expected it to do. It's all good though. So there's our basic stairs. Let's get rid of this piece and slide this thing out. So that's basically what we're going to use for our stairs. 
Um, and from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the overlap like this. This is going to be the collision object, and then after that, what I'm going to do is build some basic other boxes just to kind of get started. There's not a whole lot to stairs, and so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on stairs. Uh, the only thing I would do differently will be the texture. But I'm just going to build some basic boxes, turn the colliders off, and use that as my visual part of the stairs. While the ramp itself will be the actual physical device that takes the player up the actual stairs. So let's go ahead and set this up. This is where I like the array tool and max. So I'm gonna hold Control D. Yeah, that's gonna be short. So that's going right to the corner essentially. I'm gonna slide this up, and I'm just gonna keep that thing. Uh, I'm gonna do use that as the actual base. So I'm gonna use V, and then lock the vertex together. Select those together, control D, slide up, slide over. What I'll do is I'll just scale the actual overall objects. We'll just do uh, control D. I bet we only need that one more. We need two more. What I'll do is I'll just um, scale up. Uh, on the x-axis here, scale down. I guess it's the weirdly. Right, let's see. Let's go wireframe. Wireframe. Barely see it. Think wrong angle. Go back into shaded. Let's go here. I'm gonna turn that <coughs> and turn the renderer off. And then grab these back. All right, cool. Now grab all these and turn this one on. I'm gonna turn the renderer back on, and that's the key. That'll I I can make this the collider and then turn the renderer off, and then it'll just be smooth. Otherwise, it'll just be a real bumpy ride. Um, because we're doing this, we're not walking up the stairs. We're sliding a egg a bumpy road and it'll look like the player will respond it will see the response of it it'll look it just won't look good all right slide that in here so the stairs are steep um but that's okay if you go watch video play video games enough you'll see a bunch of really ugly stairs control d and we'll slide that over so i can go take this here and just slide that into there Cool. All right, so there's our stair set. Uh, I'm gonna slide this up a little bit. I'm gonna scale it in the actual local. I'm gonna have it sit hopefully a little below. But not too much. I don't want too much of a issue with the collision with other pieces that will be built later on, like the walls and such like that. All right, so we got cube, I'm gonna create an empty stairs, 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 slide that up there, grab all these cubes, then come in here and then slap that in there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one and name it Collider because the rest are steps. And then I'm going to turn this box collider uh, mesh off. Um, this happens from time to time, but that's weird. Uh, you know what, I think I know what happened because I, that's weird, I've not seen that before. Let's see what happens here. Select nothing. Select 
Deselect all. All right, so let's create one from this way. We'll call it stairs. Because it came in as a child of another object that I scaled, it may have screwed up the actual coordinates. So let's take that one, delete it. Let's see if this one works. I deleted one. No, it's right there. All right, so that worked better. So that's what makes sense. So I scaled this guy all over the place, crazy like. And so when I dropped in the empty into it, it skewed the creation of it. It makes total sense. And so when I attach everything into it, it completely screwed up. By creating it in an empty selection set, there is nothing to gauge this by. So we went off the world coordinates, and now everything is great. I can go back here and name this back to Collider. And turn the mesh renderer off, and this will look like stairs. All right, so we got stairs. So I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna drop it into one of the prefabs. Now, if I want to go to prefabs, I'm probably gonna have to recreate this in Max, but this is just giving me something to look at. I can look at scale and size, and kind of work from there. Um, the other option would be just create a basic box that can handle the texture that that it will take, because when you see what happens on here. Um, it's going to show the scaling that I just did on it, and that's not what I want. So you can see right there. So you know it's not too pretty. And the other option, maybe just to rotate things. I could do a lot of different things to kind of make this work, but I'm just slapping it together so it doesn't matter. Now the next thing I want to do is grab all of these cubes and turn their colliders off. Here, let's turn it on so you can see it. Hit play. It's a pretty steep angle. I should get a good launch. All right, there it is. So, I don't know if you notice it. And it slows down. Momentum disappears. So let's turn collider off. And make sure the collider box make sure again yeah, okay hit play and it looks no different it looks like stairs but now it's actually plays the same it doesn't slow down so it's definitely better reaction I don't know if you can see that in the actual video but it is playing smoother so there got stairs I'll go in here put those bad boys in the home and now it's kind of punching through a little bit it's really kind of bigger I could scale it which I'm not too worried about it's a bunch of scaled objects anyway um, it may screw the physics up the physics up I wouldn't surprise me in the slightest but I think it'll be okay all right so there's some basic stairs so I hit play and we'll go to her our house. I'm gonna build a fence and put some garden next to our big ass rock. Uh, the whatever room, the whatever room, the room that whatever does, and then oh, our stairs are way up there, but we still get up them because it slides down. And now this is happening because I have it on a slope and not on the steps. So we got to create a ground floor, and I'm just gonna use uh, some basic assets that I already have in place. Let's fix the stairs real quick. Now for the ground floor, I'm going to push and position these guys off the actual recording and kind of close this out. But what I'm going to do basically here, um, let's go ahead and deselect everything. I'm going to figure out what that key is. Shifty, love it. And create 3D object, create a cube, awesome. Put it over here. We're going to make it the same, basically the same size as the wall. The base wall that I've been making. I could use a base wall, but I want um, more generic UVs because the texture I have is very generic. So I'm just going to scale it down to about there. Kind of legitimate floor. So I scale it all the way up and then we can scale it back down. I think I was doing four units. And it's pretty damn close. So it looks like I pretty much got a um, scale match working, which is great. Sometimes it's a surprise, sometimes it's not. Um, 
All right, so there's that. And this is a texture I made in Photoshop. I did for class using the same techniques in my other videos. It's a uh, tiles. Um, and what I did, it's only like four or five tiles. You can see it real quickly. But I actually changed the tile to four point. Uh, wow, that's generic. Um, I think it actually needs to be there. I need to actually clean this texture up so that it actually sits properly. As you'll see the segmenting and all that stuff, but um, it'll give me a good starting point. And then Control D, and then we use the vertex snap. And so that's what I'm going to do for the floor. You can see I'm going to have some overhang, which is what I do want on the outside. And I'm going to stop the video and I will continue working, and then I'll show you the results, and then we'll go from there. Cheers. See you in a minute.